our goal is to try and extract characteristics and qualities in people that we think are uh, the sort of thing that would make really, really good chiropractors. So academics is not our first consideration. Um, obviously, it's going to be helpful if you are a strong uh, student in terms of your academic ability, because it is it is a, a program that's quite challenging in, in a lot of ways, but it's very, very doable if you have the motivation to want to become a chiropractor. That's the one thing that is the most predictable in terms of uh, outcomes of, of students becoming great graduates is their motivation to become chiropractors. So their understanding of chiropractic, at least from a point of view that fits our model. Now, we're not here to say that our model fits everybody. Okay. Um, we are very, very open about the fact that we're more about chiropractic than therapeutics. So it's a non-therapeutic uh, emphasis on chiropractic. So we're more about optimizing potential and health and, and function rather than treating symptoms. And we're not saying that that's not a, an integral part of this, but unashamedly, that's who we are. Um, so if you're someone who wants to be more about um, a slightly different objective, using chiropractic techniques to achieve a different objective, that's fine, but it's probably not us. So we're very clear about that. So we have in our application process, obviously an application form needs to be filled out. Uh, we ask you to write an essay in order to demonstrate your understanding of what chiropractic is um, and why you would like to be a chiropractor. And then a little bit further down the track, we will do a one-on-one -on -one interview with you. Every, every one of our applicants gets interviewed by one of our faculty or our admissions staff, and it's a structured interview that's been designed by a, an industrial psychologist, actually, to try and extract whether this person has the qualities that we're looking for in a chiropractor. Things like um, empathy, understanding, listening, um, critical thinking, um, the ability to uh, solve problems and things like that. So it's about a 40 minute interview okay. that everyone gets and it's, it's marked. There's a rubric for it. The same as the essay, there's a rubric for that as well. Uh, and we also have an online critical thinking test that we ask the applicants to do in their own time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an independently marked thing and we get the get the marks from that because as you probably well appreciate, Ben, being a chiropractor in practice requires quite a lot of mind juggling. You know, you've got to take in a lot of different bits of information, assimilate that in a logical sense and be able to come up with a plan of action that suits and that's very much about critical thinking so that's mm -hmm. why we have that in there now obviously the academic performance is is important but not as important because you can't actually even get in here unless you've completed all of the prerequisites all of the pre-health sciences and the and the courses that go with that mm -hmm. uh, but we're not looking we're not just looking for straight a students